In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to use simple eBooks to sell online courses. And specifically, I'm gonna cover three types of eBooks that sell online courses, what a book to course funnel actually looks like, and I'm gonna show you how to write an email follow-up campaign that comes after you sell the book to upsell your online course. So let's dive in. All right, so let's talk about the three different types of books that you can use to sell online courses. And the first one, guys, is what I call the 30,000 foot overview book, all right? And when I talk about writing books to sell courses, it doesn't mean that you have to write a 100 page, 200 page book. No, not at all. You can write simple to create 10 to 20 page books that are super effective at selling your online course. And that's why when I titled this video, I said simple ebooks because I don't want you to think that you have to create a full length book in order to use what I'm teaching in this video. So the 30,000 foot overview book is exactly what it sounds like, right? So your online course solves some type of problem for your customers, right? We call that the transformation process, basically taking your customer where they are now to where they want to be and giving them the steps and the things that they need to do to transform themselves to get their end result that your online course delivers. Well, the best type of book to create to sell a course like that is what I call the 30,000 foot overview book. And what this book is, is it simply takes the concepts that you teach in your course. So your course might have a seven step process or a 10 step process or a five step process. Well, when you create an overview book, you take that process and you condense it down and you map it out and you cover what the steps are and why they're important and what will happen as a result of them implementing those steps. And when you do this, this sets the stage for your online course because people understand that you have a really awesome process that solves their problem. The book explains why they should implement this process and the logical next step for that person is to join your online course because now that they're excited about this, they understand the process and what it is and why it works, they want to know how to do it. And in your online course, you're going to teach them exactly how to do it in step-by-step -step fashion and you're going to have assignments and templates and all this other kind of stuff that's going to help them get results. And when you combine that book with an online course, you can make a lot of sales and it becomes a really good funnel for you. Now, the second type of book that I like to use to sell online courses is the one step of mini framework. All right. And what this is all about is going really deep on one topic. Think of 15 to 20 page ebook on one specific thing that you teach your audience, right? So let's say that I have a web design course, right? And it teaches you everything you need to know about web design. Well, I could take one topic of web design and go really, really deep and create an ebook around that topic. Let's say, for example, I created an ebook on how to create epic logo graphics, right? And this ebook was really, really good. It gave some really awesome tips and it showed people how to build really awesome logo designs. Well, at the end of that book, I give them the opportunity to not only learn how I create epic logos, but how I do web design in general. And I invite them to join my entire web design course, right? And this works really well because you create a lot of value up front. You gave them something extremely, extremely valuable in your ebook. And it only makes sense if they want to learn more and more about that topic, which chances are they do if they purchased your ebook then it is very likely that they will upgrade and get your online course and take that next step with you. And the third and final ebook that you can create to sell online courses, and this one is really, really simple, and it's what I call either a workbook or a checklist. So in the first type of book, we talked about how your online course has this process and you give the 30,000 foot overview. Well, think about this third type of ebook very similar, but it's more of like a fill in the blanks of your process. So imagine having a workbook that has the steps and the things that you should do to get results out of a course, 
but you don't have all the background filler information. And I've seen a lot of people sell courses this way. You know, one that comes to mind recently is I was browsing through Facebook and somebody was teaching you how to run your own digital agency online, right? And they have this very detailed, in-depth course that has hours and hours of content with a ton of results and people that have been very successful with their online course. Well, for free, they were giving away a workbook that their students go through as they implement what they are taught in the course. Now, this workbook is very valuable. You know, some people can't afford the full online course, but they could afford your workbook or you might even give it away for free. But this workbook, you know, gives them the overview of the steps and has some fill in the blank stuff that they can do to kind of get some ideas of how they could do what your online course teaches. And then on the back end, should they choose to upgrade, they can join your online course to fill in all the details of that workbook. Now you can also do this with a simple checklist. Maybe you take your full process, you break it down into the milestones, and then you have the steps that they need to complete or the tasks that they need to complete in order to go through that transformation that your online course delivers. So you basically take your total online course, turn it into a simple checklist, and obviously they're gonna get some serious value out of that because if they do the steps and they do them right from your checklist, they're gonna get results. However, if they wanna know the full details of everything you teach, they're gonna to wanna to buy your online course. All right, so there are really two different types of book funnels that I like to create, and it really just depends on the type of traffic that I'm using to sell my book. All right, so if I'm using free traffic, I'm gonna show you what I would do in the first method, and if I'm using paid traffic, I'll show you what I would do in the second methods. And the key with both of these really at the end of the day is that the goal is not to sell the book, but to sell the online course. And that's why in the next section, I'm gonna get heavy into the email campaign and how you follow up this process to make more sales of the online course. But for now, let's design the funnel. So let's start with the free traffic funnel first. Okay, so in a free traffic funnel, there's obviously somewhere that I'm getting traffic. Now, in my case, I'm focusing my efforts on YouTube and getting free traffic from YouTube. For you, it might be LinkedIn or it might be Facebook or a Facebook group. But regardless of where you are getting the traffic, you have your content sector that's going to be over here. So in my case, it's YouTube. So I'm just going to draw up a YouTube page here. So we'll put this like this and say this is a YouTube video, the title of the video here. And then down here, I have my description box, right? And it has links right here where people can go to buy my book. All right. And this is going to be a book sales page. So it's going to have a headline there. It's going to have a book image here. And if you haven't watched my tutorial on how to create awesome cover graphics, make sure you check those out. Right. So anyways, you have your book sales page here where people can purchase the book. And after they buy this book, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to take them to a simple thank you page. And now this is key that we're, we're doing this on free traffic, all right? And this is just a thank you page with the headline and it tells them how to access their book. Maybe there's a video here that thanks them for purchasing it. And maybe there's a button right here where they can actually download the book that they just purchased. All right, now here, you just had money go into your bank account, all right? Now, if you set this up, the smart way, you also integrated your payment processor with your autoresponder. Because actually in the next section, I'm gonna show you how to continue selling your course with emails, right? So we're gonna have an email campaign back here that's dripping out multiple emails, right? 
And it's going to be about an 8 to 10 email campaign to start. And you could really extend it out for a long time. All right, so this is the free traffic funnel that you go from selling a book to an online course. So you get people to buy the course here and then they get into your email list and that's where we promote the online course. Now, if I clear all this off and talk about this from a paid traffic perspective, and the reason this changes a little bit, guys, is because with paid traffic, we wanna offset as much of the advertising costs that we can off the bat, all right? so instead of our content platform here we have an ad and you know this could be a youtube ad it could be a facebook ad whatever the case may be but we're running paid traffic from an ad here and it follows a pretty similar sequence but there's a little bit of a tweak here all right so this is going to be sending people to the sales page of the book. So again, all that looks the same, right? All right, we got our bullet points, we got our headline, we got our book cover, right? However, before the purchase button, there's a little box here, has a checkbox with some text here. Basically, this is what we call a one click upsell. So let's say that we're selling the book for $7, right? So if they buy here, it's just $7. However, there's a one-click upsell that has a, a small video series or a mini course right here that they can check this box and it adds it to their cart. And let's say this is, you know, 17 bucks, right? So if they check that box and then they buy the book, not only did they give you $7 for the book, but they also gave you an additional $17 for this one-click upsell. Now you can try some different numbers here. Maybe this is a $49 one-click upsell um, or a, you know, a $30 one-click upsell. And you can play around with it until you get your ad dialed in. But the key is that the combination of these two here when people buy your book and they take the upsell, now keep in mind, not everybody's gonna take the upsell, but some people are gonna take that upsell and that's gonna help offset what you're paying here for these ads. Now the rest of this pretty much works the same, right? So they get taken to a thank you page where they can access their purchases. Again, we got a video thanking them here and they can click this button to access what they purchased and you know if they bought both maybe there's a second button here where they can access the one click upsell and here they can access the book now from here again we were smart and we set up our payment processor so that the people that buy get into our autoresponder which is where our email campaign is and this, guys, is where we're going to upsell the online course via email. So let's hop over to that section now. Okay, so now let's talk about how to write an email follow-up campaign that continues to sell your course after people purchase your ebook, right? And guys, this is one of the most powerful things that you can do to sell an online course. So I highly recommend that you pay a lot of attention to this. And we're gonna draft out about eight to 10 different emails that people are gonna receive after buying our online course. Now we might space these out one day after one another. We might put a couple days in between these emails that will go out after people buy your course. And really you can put these in any order that you want, but I wanna give you a sample order of these. All right, so the first one is what I call the reminder email. And the purpose of this email is mostly just about saying, hey, remember that you downloaded or bought this ebook, make sure that you check it out and remind them of who you are, what problem you solve and how you can help them, right? So really this is just a refresher email that gets you back to top of mind with that person and it makes sure that they actually check out your book because if they check out your book, implement what you teach inside, it's more likely that they're gonna get the results that your book has to offer and 
more likely that they're gonna upgrade into your online course. And then the second email that you follow that up with is what I call the assignment email. And this is really just creating a simple lesson on something that you teach in your course or inside the book that's gonna help them get some type of small win. For example, if we go back to the design course idea that I had, I might create an assignment on how they can go out there and create a color scheme for their brand or how to build color schemes when they're working on a brand for design, right? And I give them an assignment with, that has steps and tasks and homework that they would want to complete in order to get a win with that task. And this does a couple things. One, it gets them a small win. It pre-frames them on all the stuff that I teach in the course. And they get some value from me and some top of mind awareness, just making sure that I'm staying relevant with that new customer. Now, the third email is what I call a template email. And this is really just taking some component from your course that you can templatize and send to them for free, right? So if we continue on with our same example, I might give them something that's like a, a simple template that shows them how to choose fonts for a particular type of web design. So again, I'm giving them something of value that comes from my course, and that is key, guys. It's key that it comes from the actual course because at the end of that email, you can actually say, hey, if you really like this template, make sure you check this out. This actually comes from our course for designers that has everything you need to know as a web designer. And not only do you get this template, but you get a lot of other templates and detailed training as well. The next email is what I call the, did you see this template? And this is just a great promotional email, making sure that they saw some type of feature or benefit from your sales page that you really wanna highlight and talk about and give yourself a reason to sell your online course. The next one is what I call how the system works email, right? So in this video, a couple times we've talked about how your course has a system or a process that people will implement to get the result that they're after from your online course. Well, in this particular email, you give them the one page summary of how that process works. And then at the end of that email, you give them the opportunity to purchase your online course. The next email is what I call, what if you could watch over my shoulder email? And that's what it's all about. You send out an email that says, hey, what if you could watch over my shoulder as I show you how to do X, Y, Z from start to finish, right? So again, your process, you're highlighting your process, but you're adding that little element to it that says, hey, what if you could watch over my shoulder and learn directly from me how to get the result you are after? And guys, this is a very powerful email because people see a lot of value in being able to watch over your shoulder and learn from someone that has been there before and that is going through the type of thing that they're trying to solve in their life. The next email on our campaign is called This Flat Out Works, all right? And this is taking one element of your online course that is really awesome, that works really, really well for your customers and clients, and it calls it out, it brings attention to it, you talk about it, and then you upsell them into the online course. The next email is what I call the bonus added. At this point, you're probably eight to nine days into your email campaign. And in this part, you can add a bonus to your online course. And basically, this gets them excited about your online course again, and it gives them extra incentive to buy because you had just added a bonus. So come up with some additional bonus that's not promoted already on your sales page and allow it to be part of your email campaign as a bonus added if they buy from you and they get that bonus. And one of the last ones we're gonna talk about today is the email that is why this is different from everything else out there. And this email is all about separating yourself and your online course from the competition. Right, so chances are, if you're in a good niche, there's other people out there doing what you do. And this email gives you the opportunity to say, hey, I know there's a lot of people out there doing this, but they're not doing it my way. And this is why my way is so powerful and why it works for my customers. 
and it becomes a great way to sell your online course. Now, if you've made it this far in this video, I wanna thank you, and the way I want to thank you is by giving you some bonus tips that others just aren't gonna get. So let's talk about what I call the multiplier effect for selling online courses. So we just talked about this eight to 10 email campaign, and I gave you a lot of really good stuff to put in it, but there's a little bit that we can add to this that can really make this thing pop and create a full circle promotional campaign around your online course. And guys, this is powerful. And guys, this will take a lot of work, but if you're building an evergreen automated course and you wanna sell this thing and take it to the moon, then this is a really, really powerful strategy. And what it is, is we take those same eight to 10 emails that we just put together and we're gonna create them in multiple formats, right? So we already have them in email form, but now we're gonna take them and we're gonna create them in a couple different formats, like a long form video that we can post on our YouTube channel. So for example, I could create a video on the assignment from my email campaign and walking them through how to complete that assignment. Or I could create a video on how the XYZ system works, right? Remember that email? I can create a video on that as well. And really I would go through all of my different emails in my campaign and create a longer form video that I could post on YouTube. Now I could also take that same content and create a Facebook post. I could create a LinkedIn post. If I have any Facebook groups, I could post it in there. And I could just really get an extra bang for my buck for the different content that I'm creating and the audience and the following that I'm building and I'm putting out more opportunity to get people excited about my online course by putting this content out there. And the last one, and don't sleep on this one guys, is creating really small versions of those in a short form video. And it might be as simple as this. If I'm creating a short form video for my assignment, I might pull up my phone and say something like this. Hey guys, if you're not on my email campaign, I highly recommend that you get on it because I just sent out an assignment to my new subscribers, people that have bought my book, you can check out in the description, that shows them how to X, Y, Z. So you wanna make sure you check out my book and check that out because if you do this, you can get some extremely powerful results, right? So in that quick little video, I created some value, I sold my book, I sold my email campaign, and guess what? All of those things sell my online course. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video or have any questions about what I taught today, make sure you drop them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer those questions for you and I will see you in the next video.